flaws don't look so bad at all. What was I so afraid of? Hey everybody, it's Charmelle. Welcome and welcome back to Locks Looks Lifestyle. Welcome back to another video. So if you enjoy lock content, lifestyle content, and self-help and self-development content, then make sure to hit that subscribe button because I do a little bit of all of that. But welcome back to another vlog. It's Monday, um, new weekly vlog, y'all. Look who's in town. Hey. So my niece is in town. She's back in California for the summer, so we've been hanging out. This weekend, she was spending all my money, and yeah. We're getting ready to go out now. First, we're gonna stop to get some Starbucks, and then we're going to go to the bowling alley, probably go with Misha and her daughter. Um, so yeah. Right now, we're just killing time until they're ready. It's almost like one o'clock. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go get our Starbucks first, so I'll see y'all in a minute. You ready? Yeah. You got your shoes on? Oh, you wanna wear your slides? Yeah, that's fine. It, yeah, it looks fine. Yeah. Oh, I forgot I put bobby pins in it yesterday. You forgot. I forgot I did actually. We yeah. already went to Starbucks. We even ate our Starbucks. And we back home. Cause we thought we was gonna have more time and then I'm Misha. Scared. What you scared of? Wait, let me tell you. So she want her hair like Texas. mine. You want a, a swoop too? Yes. When I go back to Texas, guess uh -huh. what? What? Um, I have to go straight to the doctor's the next day. Why? Because I get, I gotta get my, my, my year, my what was it? Your tennis shot. My six year shot. From like when I was four, they told me I don't get it until I'm ten, and I'm ten now. Oh. So. You be all right, big dog. No, I hate, I hate shots. <laughs> shots are the devils of shots okay i don't even like those big needles that we have and like why y'all why y'all needles gotta be so big i ain't doing nothing to y'all you gonna be all right don't be scared i'm gonna be scared i'm gonna scream and holler i'm gonna run y'all gonna have to put me to anesthesia or something to make me <laughs> not <crazy>. anesthesia <laughs> that is so fighting. dramatic i'm fighting so crazy to get out of that to get out of there. I used to be like that when I was a kid. Your grandpa used to have to hold me down because I was one of the kids that would be running out the room, screaming and crying. Yeah, I did that before. I did that to the dentist too. I didn't have issues with the dentist, but that doctor's office. Uh, mm -hmm. The dentist is because they told me, they said they was gonna have a drill as a joke. And I really took off running out the room. And it was just like, I wish I was kidding. Mm -mm. Y'all shouldn't have been killed on me like that. <laughs> you don't play like that? I don't care if you pull out my teeth. Do it. I don't care. What I do care about is when you uh, decide that you're going to drill it. <clears throat> no. No, ma'am. Don't even. Don't even with me, so it's like a don't even with me thing when you try to like really. Mm -hmm. I really don't care if you're like like if you're gonna pull it. I just don't want you to drill my, my mouth out. Okay, like you know. I feel you. I don't. I don't like the noises at the dentist. Like I hate the sound of like the drill on my teeth. I agree with you on that, but. I, don't I never ran room. out the. I never ran out the room at the dentist. I jumped out the chair and ran. And I jumped out the dentist chair and went back into the waiting room before. So I just sat back in the waiting room and told somebody else to go. And I said, Why you never told me these stories before? I don't know. I was like four. Yeah. But I just be remembering, like, I don't like dentists. I don't like doctors. I, feel you. I don't like the smell of them. I, feel you. I don't like look at the people in there. I don't like the coughing and singing. I don't know. I don't like, and I don't like to wait either. Yeah, the waiting is. 
Just get me in and get me out. This cool? Yes. Okay. Twinsies. <laughs> you gonna leave me hanging? <laughs> I I looked at the camera. That was good enough. You missing something? No. <laughs>
hey y'all so it is later in the week um it's been a long week y'all july in general has just been a lot every july is like this though because it's just everybody's birthday so it was my niece's birthday um it's actually my dad's birthday today and then my man's birthday is on saturday and then my mom's birthday is next saturday so i feel like i just been so occupied with all these july birthdays and then you know my niece and my nephews they moved to texas so they're out here for the summer so this past weekend i was just out with them all weekend um and then my niece wanted to stay with me so she stayed a few extra days here at my place y'all so i just been busy then i had like an allergic reaction or something like what was it what's today thursday maybe tuesday night my eye just like randomly i was on my couch and I felt my eye just kind of a little irritated and I remember rubbing it and then I was laying down and when I got up like my face just felt very heavy specifically my left eye felt very heavy and when I went to look in the mirror like all of this was just swollen um it's going down now but I say all that to say y'all it's been a busy week I got my nails done yesterday because like I said my man's birthday is this weekend so we're going to dinner tomorrow um, and then we're having a little gathering on Saturday. So just doing all the preparations for that. I did his hair, retwisted his locks yesterday. As y'all can see, I just finished doing my hair like maybe an hour ago. So I'm going to have a video for that. I don't know what order these videos will be in, uploaded in. But yeah, I've been busy. And I just felt like I deserve a treat. So in my last vlog when the girls came over, someone asked if I could you know, show you guys my lavender lemon drop recipe so i just want a cocktail because i'm tired and i had a long week so i'm gonna show y'all how to make it real quick it's actually really simple i make them a little different every time i don't want to say every time but i do make them kind of differently but for the most part it's pretty basic for one you'll need a vodka of choice i'm going to be using tito's in that video i had tito's and i was also trying out like this lemon um like flavor of vodka that i used in those ones and that vodka was really good but it's not necessary to make one so for the most part you just need vodka and then you can use like like fresh lemon juice or um like pure lemon juice or you can just use a lemonade um so i'm just going to be using just like a regular lemonade and then for the lavender i have a lavender simple syrup so it's another brand that I usually buy. It's off of Amazon. I got this one off of Amazon too. This brand is okay. The other brand that I usually use, I prefer that one. But um, yeah, you'll need a lavender simple syrup. I'm going to create a list on my Amazon storefront. And I'll try to link um, these ingredients. Because I do purchase some of the ingredients from Amazon. And then also, I have just some premium dried culinary lavender flowers. And this is mainly just for garnish. So it's this one restaurant that we love to go to to get lavender lemon drops. And they usually garnish their cups like with a lavender flowers or whatever. So that's what I did in the other video. So yeah, I got this off of Amazon too. So yeah, I'm going to show y'all how I do it. Also got me some glasses. We're going to call this segment Cocktails with the Mail. And I'm going to show y'all what I do. Um, so first huh i know <laughs> so first we're gonna garnish the cups and i'm just gonna use just some lemon juice and i have just these little plates here and i'm gonna just pour a little bit of that this is not like how i would usually do a uh how i would prefer to do a tutorial but y'all like i said it's been busy and i don't feel like setting up the camera thing putting it back up to talk to you. or actually no that's not gonna be a good angle okay whatever then i'm gonna take some of my lavender flowers and i'm just gonna pour them on the cup oh last time i think i mixed in some sugar too with the flowers hold on just got my sugar and let me just take some of this and mix it into that this is not aesthetic at all but bear with me and then i'm gonna just kind of combine it's the evening time too so my light not that good but yeah i'm gonna just combine the sugar and um lavender leaves together and i'm gonna take my glass 
and I do it just how they do it at the restaurant like you literally at the restaurant we go to they just coat the outside of the glass in the lavender leaf so I'm gonna take a little bit of that lemon juice and just rub my glass in it it's gonna help it stick then I'm gonna take my plate with that Hold on, this is not, okay. I'm gonna just pour it over it. I need somebody, oh Jesus, I make, oh Lord, I'm making a mess. It's not even sticking today, what is happening? Bear with me, oh Jesus, I'm really making a mess now. Oh well y'all, since we are not hosting a party and we're just chilling in the house, this does not have to be super pretty, but. Y'all get the drift. Now lavender is not sticking. The sugar is sticking, but the little lavender is not. So yeah, I'm still working on it. But basically, it'll look something like this. In the other video, it looked really pretty, but I'm making a mess right now. So, so now we're just gonna do like the actual cocktail portion. So basically, you wanna do like a one to two ratio. So for like the vodka, I'll do like a one, the vodka is the one ratio and then like the lemon juice is the two ratio and then the simple syrup is also the one ratio, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off with just one shot of the vodka. Y'all see me making a mess? So this is just one shot of the vodka. Honestly, this syrup is pretty sweet. So you can either do one or like half a shot. I think we'll just do half a shot today because I don't want it too sweet. Let's see about that much. Then I'm gonna do two shots of the lemonade. Depending on how strong you want it. But that's just like a, that's usually just like a standard ratio. I think when I did the, um, lemonade or the lemon vodka I did they were pretty strong so I did like one shot of the Tito's one shot of the lemon vodka and then I did like two to three shots of the lemon juice well last time I was using like just straight lemon juice not lemonade so since it's lemonade it's already kind of sweetened um so yeah honestly I'm no bartender but just play around mix it up see what you like and I'm gonna give that a good shake. My glass. And that is literally it, y'all. It's really simple and it tastes good. perfect it was perfect cheers <laughs> um but yeah i feel like this setup in this tutorial wasn't the best but y'all get the drift um i'm not cooking tonight we just ordered some wing stops so i ordered my wing stop on doordash waiting for that to get here i'm about to enjoy my little cocktail while i wait on my dinner we've been re-watching empire well i never actually no i watched like the first two episodes of empire then it just started to get really ridiculous and he's never seen empire before so we've just been re-watching it because it's nothing on tv y'all and i think we're on season three now but that, that show was a mess it's like a real soap opera i don't even know why that was allowed to be on uh primetime television but yeah I'm going to enjoy my cocktail and go watch Empire while I wait on my dinner. And I'll probably see you guys probably tomorrow. I'll be running errands tomorrow, so I might bring you guys along for that. But bye, y'all. If you got it, it ain't a question. Oh, it ain't no one for guessing. No more than emotionally invested. Showing you all my imperfections. Oh, if I let you, don't take me for granted. Yeah, if I would more than.
worry about it, I'm putting pressure. You'll only cut me if I let ya. Oh, we ain't doing this just for pleasure. Either learn me or I'm a lesson. Oh, no. If you want me, don't take me for granted. Yeah. Good morning, you guys. So it's about 8.30 in the morning, y'all. We getting an early start. Um, we have a few errands to run this morning. Gotta go to Costco, grocery store. I think he wants to go to the mall to find something to wear tonight. Um, I have a pedicure appointment this afternoon. And then we're going to dinner tonight. I think our reservations are for 7.30. Um, so yeah. Like I said, it's 8.30 in the morning, and we're getting a head start on the day. Um, so, yeah, we're getting ready to head out now. So, let's go. I also want to film some content today since I'm going to be getting dressed. I'll probably film, like, a get ready with me. I'll probably film some stuff for my TikTok. Um, this hair is so long, y'all, and it's hot already. I think I'm about to put it up in a ponytail because I don't know. I don't know, y'all, but we about to go. <laughs> Hey y'all, <laughs> so I said I was gonna take y'all with me and technically I took y'all with me, but I just didn't vlog while we were out. I told y'all it was 8.30 when we left this morning. It is now 3.30, oh I look so just, it's hot outside, I'm hot, I'm greasy. We've been in and out of the house all day. Um, Yeah. I had planned on vlogging y'all, but we was just like really in and out of the stores and just trying to get stuff done. And yeah, I didn't vlog. And then we had like, we had went to the mall specifically to go to Zara this morning. And the mall is not like far, but it is kind of like out the way from all of the other places where we were running our errands at. And we went to the mall specifically to go to Zara. We get to the mall y'all. Zara is closed for the day due to technical difficulties. I don't know. So just wasted time driving out there um and then i thought my nail appointment was at two but i don't know if it was at two or two thirty um because i ended up waiting i don't think i got into the chair until about two thirty. i don't know if they were running behind or if i made my appointment for two thirty. and so i just got a basic pedicure but i feel like i was there for so long i'm tired our dinner reservation is for 7 30 um yeah We'll probably be leaving here, I don't know, probably probably around 6-ish or something because I'm going to stop by my parents and drop off my dad. I'm going to drop my dad off his birthday gift because his birthday was yesterday. So, y'all, I don't know where time went this week, but I'm tired. I, when I left the nail shop, I stopped into the corner store and got me a little Red Bull. I didn't sleep good last night. I don't know what it was. I was kind of up late last night. Not like super late, but later than what I usually go to bed. And then I woke up at like 2.30 in the morning and I couldn't go back to sleep. I was just up laying in the bed. And when I finally did go back to sleep, I woke up like around 6.30 and I don't know. I feel like I'm feeling all of that now since I've been out all day and since I didn't get as much rest last night and I'm feeling it now. Um, but yeah. Like I said, it's a little after 3.30, it's 3.35. So I think I'm gonna just sit down and relax until like maybe four and I'm gonna get up and get in the shower and start getting myself together. I kind of have an idea of what I'm gonna wear. Luckily, our dinner is kind of like a casual dinner. We're just going to one of his favorite restaurants. We go there all the time, but my man is super low maintenance. Like, I wouldn't say like I go like super all the way out or do really big birthdays. Every now and then I will. But um, he's just like, he just wanna go eat at this restaurant. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. And even with his birthday, like we do parties, but whenever we host a party, I'm like, ooh, we should do a theme and all this other stuff. And he's just like, no, we keep it really simple. Just a basic party. So luckily he's super high maintenance, but I mean, luckily he's super low maintenance. So, I don't feel like too pressured to like really like I'm gonna get myself together but you know what I'm saying y'all um it's gonna be like a really casual chill night just a dinner date night for his birthday type of situation so yeah I'm just tired and then we still have to get up tomorrow and finish running errands too I need to clean up it's 
yeah we probably not gonna even be out late because i told him i'm like at this rate <laughs> we're gonna be in the bed by like 10 30 tonight sleep and wake up tomorrow and then deal with tomorrow's stuff but yeah y'all just checking back in um i'm about to relax for a little bit and then i'm in the shower and start getting myself together so yeah i think i'm gonna film a get ready with me too so i need to mentally prepare myself for that too <laughs> bye y'all okay y'all we are pretty much getting ready to head out the door uh, oh we gotta get gas still huh babe yeah. all right um i was able to push our reservation back so that's good um we're just getting our last minute things got my dad's gift that i'm trying to set up right here here it's pretty simple it's in my tiktok video if you want to see my outfit go look at my tiktok i just have one it's like skirt bodysuit it's really casual um oh i'm forgetting something tomorrow night <laughs> we got too much stuff to do in the morning you ready babe we gotta go you ready? We gotta go. Yeah. You acting like me today. Hurry up. See? Hurry up. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, it was a little bit. There you go. Bye, <laughs> Bye y'all. pretty good evening um but y'all the ubers tonight a mess so we went to dinner in san francisco um and usually when we go to san francisco we don't drive just because one traffic two depending on where you're where we're going um parking is not always the greatest and so yeah just to have one less thing to worry about we usually just uber out there it's a lot easier and convenient for us so yeah um we get in our uber okay so first we drive to my parents usually my parents don't live too far from san francisco so we usually drive to their house and park and then uber from there so that's what we did like we normally do and um we get in our Uber. So as soon as we get in our first Uber, y'all, the guy is like, he is, he's very friendly. He's one of us's. Um, like he dapped my man and everything. Like first we was like, okay, this is gonna be a cool ride. So as soon as he started driving, his driving was a little weird. And I'm like, mm, I don't know what's happening. Um, and then I realized he was driving like a stick shift. So I was like, okay, maybe it's just because he's driving a stick shift. Dang, my makeup looks so good. I don't really want to take it off, but, um, <laughs> so I'm like, okay, maybe it's cause he's driving a stick shift. So where we get on the freeway at, um, you have to like merge twice, like right away. 
and a lot of people if you're not used to driving over there it can get a little hectic so i let him know like when we were getting on the freeway i'm like oh yeah you're gonna have to get all the way over and he's like okay okay no worries so he proceeds <laughs> to get like over and at first i'm thinking like okay maybe the people are not letting him merge over um but then he like misses the merge and misses getting over and he like so it like splits this way and he stops in the middle of like the split and first he's waiting to get over and so then while we're waiting he turns off the car and we're like mm, what's going on and <laughs> My man, I won't say he a high head, but like, he just, he don't have a lot of patience. No, not, he's very no nonsense. So as soon as that happened, he like, yeah, what you doing? Cause you just kind of got us out. Like, it like sitting ducks. And then the guy's like, oh no, 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 no. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. And we like, um, okay. So he starts the car back up. Mind you, cars are flying by because it's the freeway. Um, he finally gets over. Hold on. Let me wash my hair. So he finally gets over and he's proceeding to drive. And then he's acting like he's going to pull over again because he's trying to figure out what's going on with his car. Um, but it's not really a shoulder for him to pull over in and he's slowing down and kind of veering off to the right and i'm like uh-uh just keep going straight it's an exit coming up just get off the freeway and so in the back of my mind i'm like if you're gonna get off this freeway we getting out the car because we have to get on the bridge go to san francisco and if your car is acting like this i'm not getting on nobody's bridge with your car acting like this like the bay bridge is not a, a place for you to start having car troubles um so yeah he gets off the freeway and i'm telling my dude i'm like just cancel it cancel the ride cancel the ride we can get out and get another one um and he's like no 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 it's okay it's okay i'm just trying to figure out what's going on because you know something not right but we like bruh we don't know what's, if you don't know what's going on then we don't know what's going on and i'm not getting in your car and so we just get out the car and he's like well let me pay you um he's like i'm gonna cancel it on my end let me pay you give you some money for your next ride so he gets out the car and he like walks down the street i guess he's looking for a store and then he comes back and like oh the store is closed did you want to ride with me to another store to get some chain and we like yeah no bro just just go on about your way and then he got in the car and drove off so that was weird. Mind you, where he dropped us off at, well, where we got out the car at, wasn't necessarily like the best neighborhood to just be sitting around and waiting, but I was not riding in the car with that man. And then our next Uber came, we get there fine. Um, and then when we're leaving to come back home, we call an Uber, we're waiting on the Uber. Like the Uber pulls right in front of us to pick us up. And as soon as we open the door and he sees us, he basically was like, oh, no, I'm going somewhere else. And we like, what? But you, you just picked us up. And uh, we looking at the license plate. It's our ride. Um, and he's like, no, 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 I'm not going there. I'm going somewhere else. And then cancels our ride. And then we had to wait for another ride. And then it was a bunch of traffic coming back, y'all. It was very much an eventful night. Um, but we made it back home. Oh, but then when we got back to the car, y'all, I didn't roll my ankle in my heels. I'm walking to get in the passenger seat and I step up on the curb and roll my ankle. It's doing okay now, but I just hope, you know, I don't have to worry about it being swollen or nothing in the morning. And then I really didn't get no cute pictures tonight either, but um, it's whatever. All in all, we had a good time. I'm tired. We about to chill watch empire and probably go to bed because i know we have a busy day tomorrow oh yeah trying to debate on if i want to keep my little clusters on i don't know i might try to keep them on see if they last it is hot in here it's 
It's cold outside, but it's hot in the house. <sighs> but yeah, y'all. I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey y'all, so it is Monday. Um, I think I don't think I vlogged since we went out for dinner Friday. We had a little get together Saturday, which was cool, but I was just working and busy, so I didn't really vlog at all on Saturday. But yeah, it's Monday, y'all. We're actually on our way out to go grab some lunch. We are going to Benihana. Um, so yeah, it's kind of out the way a little bit, so it's a little dry for us. But we're just getting out the house. It's nice today, so let's go, y'all. Yes, uh, yes you are, baby I wish you were my lover But you act so undercover and then, uh, Oh, and let me know you'll be right or be wrong I'm only what you make me, baby Don't walk away, don't be so shaky Don't want your mind Words I say they may sound funny, but whoa, sweet thing. Don't you know you're my everything? Yeah. Whoa, sweet thing. Don't you know you're my everything? Yes, you are. Yeah. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, are we all ready over here, you guys? Yep. Okay. 